My name is Łukasz Żeligowski. I'm a developer uh, since I think more over 20 years. And I'm in blockchain industry mostly because it was very interesting for me from developer point of view. And right now I really feel the revolution which is behind the blockchain and what can change. We were on many conferences uh, this year even and I would say that this is really a great, great event. One of the, one of the biggest which we participate in and I would say that the really audience is great and also the organization because there is so many people and really you don't feel bad that there is so many people. You don't have to wait for anything and it's really good, yeah. I would say that really blockchain can revolutionize our life, yeah, and uh, there is so many areas where it can be used and hard to find one, yeah? <laughs> but I, you can see that there really a lot of countries are introducing the blockchain and also a lot of things happen around ICO and other things. And really, I would say that the, that the time which we've got right now is a time of revolution, time where when many things happen all the time, things are changing, everything's flexible. So it's even hard to say anything about the future, but for sure the future is for blockchain and the countries which implements more blockchain will be better or will be more important in the future. It's easier to say about the wrong, but I don't want to criticize anyone. <laughs> but uh, for sure, I think the biggest uh, danger which we've got is a problem with ICO, that so many ICOs are right now and a lot of people are enjoying or, or are going to be involved in ICO and I suppose many of them are really a scam and this is a really bad thing. Uh, so not about the one company or one project which is wrong but just about some, some movement. So there is a, a, a huge danger with the ICO but about the good thing I really think that the way how the blockchain is evolving is really good. Especially when you look, for example, for Ethereum, how what's going on with Ethereum, what, what is going with other projects like Waves, for example, or Dash, which are really developing more and more features and they are more and more advanced and I suppose they are more uh, proper for the everyone. You know, I, I'm a freedom guy, so I believe that the people should decide by themselves. They are, should be responsible for their own. So I don't like when government wants to do something for me. I really prefer that I will take care about myself. So I, I prefer that the government will do nothing with the ICO. Uh, just I think this is the area where the media should uh, talk more about the ICO, about the dangers, uh, about the, the, you know, this, this black side of ICO. This is the huge role of the media to explain to people what the ICO is and which one is good, which one is wrong. So government, no, but just the people. I would say that I'm waiting for decentralized stock exchange or exchange. Decentralized exchange is really the project which could have a future because the exchange currently is the weakness uh, or the weakest point. Or the second is, for example, some kind of project connected with making decentralization more realistic. Uh, decentralization of mining uh, is really, I think, important part and I'm waiting for the projects which uh, solve that kind of problem. The biggest fun which I've got on some conference when many ICO have got the pitch decks, the pitch talk, I would say as when one guy is going on the stage and is saying, hey, we are doing the ICO, the first ever ICO for eSports for eSports. And he finished his talks quite nice. Then the second one comes and he says, "Hey guys, we are doing the best and the first eSports solution in blockchain." And it repeated four times. So it was really uh, funny to hear that every one of them was the first and the biggest and the best. Yeah, really funny thing.